Don't worry, kid. Just like the message said, those who are pure of heart will be protected. Yeah. Right. I can do this. I'm pure of heart. This is what I call a feast for the eyes, and the nose, and the lips, and the ears. <laughs> Eat hearty, my beauties. <laughs> is this really the end, Princess? Oh, oh, it would seem so to me. All my powers are gone. The scepter was our last hope. Oh, don't take it so hard, lad. You gave it your best shot. I'm proud of you, Timmy. Oh, oh Princess is proud of him. That's all Timmy's ever wanted, was to make his princess proud. <sighs> Timmy, Timmy. <sighs> Help! Help me! Don't worry, Kay. We'll have you up here in no time. How are we going to do that, Bruce? We can't even see her down there. I don't know. Not even the internet can help us now. Don't worry, Kay. We will find a way to get you out. Hurry, <laughs> will you? Charity's in danger. We've got to find her. Yeah, you know what? But Kay's in trouble, too. You do what you have to, but I will not leave the woman I love here to die. Help! Help me, please! Help! Look how dark it's gotten. The moon's completely disappeared. Those clouds came out of nowhere. The same way David Hastings just suddenly showed up in harmony to reclaim Grace as his wife. You two love each other more than any couple I've ever known. You gotta stop fighting. I don't care what anybody says. You two are like one. You belong together. All we really know for sure is that Teresa is not in her own room. Yeah, and that Julian's been missing for a while now. Which amounts to zip, y'all. I mean, Teresa's never had any love lost for Julian Crane. What would she be doing in his room? Yeah, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. Then where is she? She could be anywhere. Maybe she took a walk on the beach. Mm, in this weather, yeah. Or she went to a restaurant to get a bite to eat. Wherever she is, she's not with Julian. Or maybe everyone's refusing to see what's right in front of their eyes. As soon as Teresa thought Ethan was a lost cause, she just latched on to Julian. Just a little tramp. Hey, Rebecca, shut the hell up, all right? Teresa would never be with Julian. And this little piggy went to the islands. This little piggy got divorced. <laughs> and this little piggy Lucked out big time. He married you, Teresa. Now he's gonna take you all the way home. Mm. Let the honeymoon begin. Yes. More bugs to crawl up your pants? <laughs> there you go! Oh, no! Timmy has a better idea. If no one lets Timmy and Debbie out of the pit, they'll be your friends. I don't need 
any friends? I am Danny. <laughs> Everyone needs friends, Norma. Timmy and Tabby will be nice to Norma. They'll go everywhere with her and sing her praises. They'll never make fun of her again. Nah, I like my way better. <laughs> What's the matter? Afraid you're gonna die? Why don't you try that scepter again, or whatever it is you've got down there? Oh, can I get it to work? <laughs> no one be sorry she treated Jimmy this way. She'll see you the smart one. Oh, easy, Timmy. No one is very sensitive about her intellect. Besides, I hate to say it, it looks like Noxious Norma's one. Jamie never says over. <laughs> Mighty Scepter! Jimmy's a little guy, but he needs a big favor. Bring water to drown all the bugs. Oh, be careful what you ask for, Timmy. If the Scepter responds, it could send down too much water. Timmy doesn't care. He'd rather drown the game. We're trying to figure this thing out. If I did anything to hurt anybody, I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to. What is she talking about? You know, she's probably in shock. She doesn't know what she's saying. I see her. She's hanging onto a ledge to keep from falling the rest of the way into the abyss. I want to get her out. But we can't save Kay and Charity at the same time. Miguel, I can't leave my sister. Look, it's not like I want to leave her down there. You know what, Charity's my cousin too, so I can't leave her either. Whatever you want to do, Miguel. Well, hurry, please! I'm scared! I don't know how much longer I'm getting on! Please, Miguel! Please. Alright, alright, we'll give it a shot. Okay, we're gonna try to get you out of there. But if we can't get you out quick enough, we're gonna go look for Charity and come back for you later. If we don't get her back up here right now, it'll be too late when we come back. She'll be dead. Father certainly won't be thrilled to hear that you are his new daughter-in-law. <sighs> but who cares? Your baby soft skin is worth his wrath and more. Besides, he owes me for sending me down here to take care of Sheridan. Sure. And my reward is you. It's my very own arm candy. Mm. To enjoy for the next, oh, 20 or so years? As I would think by then, I'll grow tired of you and have to trade you in on a new model. But right now, I, I'm, I must be just the luckiest man alive. think that, dear, and right you are, because not only have you married one of the wealthiest men in the world, you've also married a man who knows how to please a woman. Ethan, I know my sister. And she wouldn't give Julian the time of day, much less go to his room with him. Yeah, no, of course not. I mean, it's one thing that she came down here to talk to Julian about me in a public place, but she never put herself in a vulnerable position with him. I got to admit that when I first heard that Julian was down here fooling around with some young girl, Teresa popped into my mind. She did? But not because I thought for a second that the girl was my sister. It's just that it hit so close to home that some young girl was in over her head with Julian. Sheridan kept telling me that she... Where is she, Ethan? I wish I knew what to tell you. I don't give a damn what the shore patrol says. I know that she's not gone. Hey. hey, look, the storm is over. Have you sent out that search party yet? 
I'm sorry, sir. I told you. There's no way. Ms. I Crank told you that Sheridan is not dead. Do you understand? Listen, I don't know what happened out there, but she's alive and she's out there somewhere. Two of our shore patrol vessels were smashed. We're checking on the others. As soon as we can get a boat and a chopper up, we'll resume the rescue. Good. As soon as I can find something that floats, I'm going back out there myself. Got it? There's nothing we can do for Sheridan, but we can certainly take care of Teresa. Rebecca, what are you talking about? Uh, my mother still thinks that Teresa's with Julian. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet my engagement ring on it. Look, how can you just stand there doing nothing when you know what she did? Has she no shame at all? Ethan, listen, you know how I feel about you. Gwen, look, don't. You know I love Teresa. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. How can you love somebody who cheats on you the second she thinks you're dead? And, and with somebody that you grew up thinking was your father, no less. I don't less. believe that for a second. Why? It makes perfect sense. Her little, her little scheme to have Julian reinstate you as heir fizzled out. So, so she came down here to grab his millions. And, and, and he, she ended up in Julian's bed. Look, stop it, all right? Look, I know Teresa better than you and your mother. She would never sleep with Julian. Never. You know, maybe that's how you people act, and your money means everything world. But it's not that way with Teresa. Now, even Julian is smart enough to know that if he ever laid a finger on my sister, I would tear him apart. Even if he did raise me, you'd have to get in line. Well, all fine and noble sentiments, I'm sure. But what if I'm right, huh? What if Julian has been, oh, how do I put this delicately, cuddling with Teresa in his room? But then, Ethan, you gonna still want to defend her virtue so strongly? Are you still gonna want to make her your wife? This is nuts. All our years together, and I'm not sure I know who you are. Should I stay? Or should I go? That's up to you, Sam. All I know is I don't want to fight anymore. Neither do I. See, you two have some common ground to work with. If either one of them says the wrong thing, their entire marriage could crumble. How do you If their marriage can fall apart, what hope is there for the rest of us. That's exactly what I was wondering. Oh, thank God you're all in here. There's a hurricane coming and she's moving fast. Oh, that explains the sky. Yeah. The Weather Channel said the hurricane's gonna come here and it's gonna hit with a hundred mile an hour wind. Oh my God, the girls are on Warlock Island. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to hit there before it's supposed to hit here. You got Simone, Miguel, and your daughters are right in this path. Oh, oh my God, honey, did you try to call so someone on our cell phones? Sweetheart, I tried, but the cell towers are down, along with the beacon for the boats. Grace, don't worry about the kids. Now, what happened to the boat that took the kids out to the island? It was Sam, supposed to go back and pick them up. Sam, I got some bad news. The boat is missing. Missing? Why? Yeah, and what's worse, the captain who was supposed to take them to Warlike Island didn't take them at all. Why not? Somebody hit him over the head, tied him up down the docks. Oh, oh. We don't know who took him to the island and what happened to the boats. I'll call the Coast Guard. Sam, I've already done that. They have everybody in the water trying to get them out before the storm hits. But there are hundreds of boats out there. It, it, could, it could be hours before anyone's available to mount a rescue for our kids. Please, don't let anything happen to the girls. Let's get out of here. I won't dignify your question with an answer, Rebecca. You just let yourself get carried away because we don't know where Teresa is. Or Julian. She's not with him, Rebecca. No, I'm not gonna stand here and deny that Teresa hasn't done some foolish things in her life. But there is one thing that I know for certain. She loves Ethan. And she would die before she was ever unfaithful with anyone. Especially her slimeball fiance. Oh, thank you very much, Louise. Hey, don't mention it. You know, I've got a few more choice names for Julian Crane, if you're interested. I don't really care what you think about Julian. Hmm. But he's the man I'm going to marry. 
So I am not going to just stand here and let him take, take all the blame for what is going on in his room. No, if Teresa is in there with him, it's because she initiated the involvement. Okay, now, I, I don't even buy that. We all know what a lech Julian is. But, hey, I, I do agree that, that if she's in there, they're only doing one thing. Okay, look, that's enough. Aunt Teresa would never let Julian touch her with a 10-foot pole unless she was heavily drugged and didn't even know what was going on. Whitney, why ain't you defending Teresa? Chad, please. I mean, everybody knows it's ridiculous. You know something, don't you? Look, just tell me, all right? Ethan's going crazy not knowing Look, what's going trust on. trust me, Chad. Ethan's going to know soon enough. Look, Whitney, do you have any idea where Teresa is? I mean, I know she confides in you about everything. Ethan, what I do know is that Teresa was completely heartbroken when she thought that you were lost at sea with Luis and Chad. You know what, that's it. Dude, she don't know that we made it back to shore. She's probably up in the chapel right now praying for our rescue. You know what, let me go check it out. I'll be right back. Hey, excuse me. Do you, do you know if Mr. Crane is up in his room? Yes, I, I just saw him there. But he asked not to be disturbed. Well, well then I, I guess he's asleep, right? I don't think so. He had company. Uh, well, was it a girl? Uh, yes, a pretty young woman with long, dark hair. Uh-huh. Now do you all believe me? Oh, you look like an angel when you're asleep. When you're awake and in the mood for love, I bet you're as wild as a hellcat. <laughs> Why can't I remember our first night of wedded bliss? Ah, oh, never mind. Because we'll have many more. Starting with tonight. myself, Timmy. I can't tell you how much I regret losing my powers. I've, I've let you down. Timmy's not saying you, Princess. He doesn't blame you. Oh, I blame myself. Oh, how galling to be bested, not by someone with powers like Hecuba or, or even Charity, but by a hulking great moose of a crazy woman called Norma. Oh, I'm a disgrace to witches everywhere. Something I said. Oh, just trying to ignore the bugs. Ignore them. It wasn't something cr creepy and crawly like bug. It was wet, like rain. It's raining. Oh, 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 oh! You're right, Timmy. It is raining. Oh, well done, lad. Oh, oh, oh! The water is stopped that you are susceptible. Oh. 
This is all I could find. So I hope it works. Why wouldn't it work, Reese? Never mind. No, what is it you're not telling us? Well, while I was looking up this cave on my handheld computer, I kind of came across another legend. Don't tell us if it's going to be morbid like the last. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I want to hear. Well, it's about these kids who supposedly came camping here a long time ago. They went exploring and they found this very same cave. So what happened to them? Well, that's just the thing. No one knows. They were never heard from again. Thanks for sharing it with us, Reese. That makes me feel a whole lot better. No, you know what? I'm glad that he told us, Simone. Because think about it. Every legend that he's told us about this island has some truth to it. You know, and I would be out of here right now if Kate weren't down there and if, and if Charity weren't lost somewhere in this cave. Hello? Did you guys forget about me down here? Hang on, Kay. I'm coming. Hey, tie this end around your waist. I should be the one who goes in. It's my sweetheart down there. I should risk my life. No way. All right, Kay wouldn't be down there if I hadn't asked you guys to help me look for Charity. I'll go. Be careful, Miguel. Can you see her, Miguel? Not yet. Miguel, is that you? Oh, oh I think he found her. Miguel, I'm scared. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall. Hey, don't think like that, okay? So far, you're doing great. This is what I want you to do now. Let go with one hand and try to reach for mine. It's too far, Miguel. I can't reach that far. We need a little more slack. I'm sorry, Miguel. I can't do it. Yes, you can. We need a little more. That's all there is, Miguel. It's not long enough, Miguel. I'm going to die down here. No, you're not. All right, listen to me carefully, OK? Look, I'm gonna reach as far as I can, and you have to stretch, and I mean really stretch. You understand? Oh, come on, Kay. Hey! The weather forecasters advise everybody to stay in, batten down the hatches, and just wait the storm out. We have to do something to rescue the kids. Those kids are more than capable of taking care of themselves. Every one of them is smart and resourceful. Even if they do get stuck on the island, they'll find a place to ride out the storm. <sighs> Sam, I'm scared. Hey, Hank is right. All the kids know how to deal with this. <sighs> so when is this going to end? The hurricane? No. And so much has happened to my family in the last year. I just, I feel like I'm being tested by God. If he is testing you, you're going to pass with flying colors. I want to help. You can't. He's just offering to help, Sam. Like I said, we'll be fine on our own. You know, I think we can use everyone's help in this situation. Grace, if your children are in danger, I want to do what I can. Thanks. I knew it. I knew Teresa is with Julian. She knows he has a weakness for young girls, and she knew how vulnerable he would be after his divorce from Ivy. Look, I'm not exactly letting him off the hook either, but if she is up there in his room, then she is every bit as complicit in this as he is. Rebecca, you don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Look, if Teresa was up in Julian's room, which I'm sure she's not, he would have had to have drugged her or something, because there's no way in her right mind she would ever have gone up there. Ah, I guess I'm just gonna have to prove it to them, Luis. I do that. I'm gonna go see whether this guy's got a boat ready to rescue Sharon. <sighs> yes, hotel operator. Please connect me to Julian Crane's room. Oh, crying out loud. What? More important things to do than answer the phone. No answer. Well, that's not surprising, considering he's up there doing God knows what with her. It better not be. It's the last thing he ever does. I'll get a gun. We'll kill them both.
Back off, pal. I don't understand. Let me spell it out for you, Hastings. Sam's not only my brother, he's the chief of police in this town. He's more than capable of taking care of everyone during the hurricane, especially his own family. I wasn't trying to cause any trouble. I was just offering my services. Which aren't needed. Did you happen to notice who Grace turned to when she found out the bad news of the storm? Hmm? Sam. Which is the way it's supposed to be. Frankly, you're just getting in the way. I respect your opinion. I'm just surprised you don't respect Grace's also. What's that supposed to mean? Grace didn't reject my offer. She asked your brother to accept it. If I were you, I'd be asking myself why Sam is so threatened every time Grace sticks up for me. <laughs> it's all in your head. Is it? And just for the record, I didn't come here to get in the way. I came here to get my wife back. Never going to happen. Well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? Hey, listen, I want you to go with TC. I want you to arrange for a boat to get out to Warlock Island. I'm gonna work on getting a beacon lit. I'll meet you down at the dock, all right? Honey, you will call me as soon as you hear anything about the kids. Yes, I will, sweetheart. And I'm sure that Simone and the others are all right. Well, I think I should get to the hospital. Okay. Eve, I think I'll go with you. Maybe I can help in some way. Look, I'm not taking David's side, but he's right. You're gonna need all the help you can get. Now, why don't you just let him do something and, and let me do something too. I'll do whatever you ask. Hold on a minute. Now, I can't believe I'm letting you two get to me this way. There's no way Julian and Teresa are together. Isn't that right, Whitney? Well, I know it's the last place you'd wanna be. Yeah, exactly. So what do you say? He claims they're organizing a search and rescue mission right now. I want him to cover a wider area than he thinks possible. Sharon could have grabbed onto a, a life preserver or a piece of driftwood or something. The current is so strong, she could have been carried out from the And that's why I want to go with him, because I'm not letting him give up until I find her. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Look, Luis, I want Sheridan to be alive just as much as you do. But I... I I just don't know how she could have survived the hurricane, let alone the explosion. I'm not giving up until I find her. So, uh, was Teresa in the chapel? Afraid not. I checked out the whole resort while I was at it. Nobody's seen her in any of the public rooms. Well, then it's probably like Louise said. She's out on the beach. Or maybe I'm right, and she is with Julian in his room. Look, something is going on between those two, and if you won't find out what it is, I will. Where's the thing to be safe? Damn! Not so fast, you two! I'm not finished with you yet! Please, everything normal to me? Well, to be perfectly honest, Timmy, I'm not as worried about her as I am about this torrential... Downpour. If we don't get out of here soon, we're gonna drown in all this water. Jimmy thought the scepter was answering his ring. Where is when Sharon's ring? Well, that's what I warned you about, Timmy. The scepter belongs to the warlocks. Maybe they got wind of the fact that you and I were playing around with their personal arsenal. But Timmy did me any harm. Oh, well, they don't care about that. I told you.
<laughs> Thank God. <sighs> Thank you, Miguel. I was so scared. <sighs> You saved my life. You saved my life. You know, it's common in any culture for the rescuee to be a little over emotional with the rescuer. Hey, hey it's all right, Kate. All right, it's all over. It's all over. You're fine now. I want to go home. Not yet. We still have to find Charity. Charity? Charity, where are you? Charity? Where could she be? Are you alright? How could you smile at a time like this? Do you know something about charity you not say? Alright. If this is gonna shut you up, fine. I'll go up to Julian's room and we'll see who he's with. But I know it's not Teresa. Yeah, count me in too if it'll shut her up. I never thought I'd meet anyone who deserved Julian, but you definitely do. Okay, I, I think you guys need to be prepared for what you might find up there. I'm not gonna find Teresa. Look, Gwen is just trying to spare you an unpleasant shock. And the only two people I'm hoping to catch off guard are Julian and his little tartita. Shut Rebecca, up. that's enough. What? Okay, fine. You just be as self-righteous and indignant as you want now. But I'm afraid I'm gonna be the one that has the last word here. Yeah. So are we gonna go to his room or not? How are you ever going to find it in your heart to forgive her if you find her up there? Are you going to go up there with those guys, too? Well, I'd better, don't you think? I mean, if it does turn out that Teresa is with Julian, then I'm going to have to keep Ethan from committing murder. You're coming, too, aren't you? Oh, um, I'll be right behind you, okay? Okay. Yeah, Julian Crane's room, please. Damn it! God. Whoever this is, I'm not receiving calls. Mr. Crane? Mr. Crane, it's Whitney. Is Teresa up there with you? <sighs> not that it's any of your business, but yes, my bride is right beside me in bed. I'm in the middle of consoling her over the deaths of her older brother and her ex-fiancé. No, see, that's what I want to tell you. Look, you don't... Would you please show some respect and leave us alone? <sighs> oh. <sighs> please, Teresa, get out of there while you can. If Ethan and Louise find you in Julian's bed... We'll find her. You know why you fell into the abyss, don't you? Because I'm a klutz? No, because your heart's not pure. <sighs> Give me a break, Simone. Okay, I fell into the abyss because of the legend that Reese told us about the two girls that were not the same guy. It was meant to happen so that Miguel would have to choose who to rescue first. <laughs> I hate to bust your bubble, Kay, but we had to beg Miguel to go in there after you. He wanted to go find Charity. Well, it's what he did that matters. He chose to rescue me, not her. That's why I was smiling. Well, I get it. You figure that the legend is gonna repeat itself. That the other girl who loved the same guy is dead. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? You know what it means if I'm right? That the girl who lives gets the boy. And that would be me. Grace, I want you to go to the old shed. Get all the blankets, lanterns, all the supplies you can get your hands on and start setting up an emergency station in here. P 
people are going to need a safe, dry place to come to during the night. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to work on getting the beacon lit so we have enough light to get out to the island. Listen, the kids are going to come home safe and sound. You want to help out? You can stay here and do whatever you want. What do you want me to do, Sam? Well, you can help out here, too. This is a big waste of time. All we're gonna find is Julian drunk in bed. It's my other poor girl who's not my sister. I think you're both just afraid that you're gonna find Teresa up there and you don't want to admit it to, to my mother and me or to yourselves. We're gonna have to admit it when you find them there together and then all hell is gonna come loose. And Teresa's goose is finally gonna be cooked. Oh, who would have thought it? You know, I've been married for more years than I care to remember, and it's no secret I've had some torrid sex in my day. But I never, ever imagined in my wildest dreams that I could... I could have both at once. Too many years of conjugal bliss.